All right, we have uh, Shashi Tharoor who has tweeted about uh, this assault. Shashi Tharoor has said, utterly horrified and shocked by the stabbing of Salman Rushdie, wish him a speedy and complete recovery from his wounds. Even though with a sinking heart, I recognize that life for him can never be the same again. A sad day worse of creative expression can no longer be free and open. So Salman Rushdie has tweeted about it and many um, eminent personalities have also uh, been tweeting and uh, expressing their absolute horror. All right, now let's take a look at the details coming in about this heinous attack and the attacker. The man who stabbed Salman Rushdie, identified as Hadi Matar, 24-year-old from New Jersey. Law enforcement authorities have identified him and they've said that the alleged attacker is currently in custody. They've said he has a past to be on the grounds of Chautauqua Institution's lecture. This uh, institution, of course, is in New York City. And uh, this is 24-year-old Hadi Matter and let's go across to my colleague Abhishek Jha for more details on this. Um, good morning to you, Abhishek. What more do we know about uh, Hadi Matter apart from these preliminary details that are coming in? The FBI has identified him. What more do we know about him and the motive? Uh, so, apparently, uh, this uh, uh, person who is, uh, uh, you know, alleged to have attacked, in fact, he was nabbed at the scene only. Uh, he's 25 years old and uh, Apparently, his social media profile has been uh, very much pro-Iranian government. Uh, there are photos and pictures where, where he has posted uh, of Iranian supreme leaders. And we know that Salman Rushdie has been on target of Iranian government. In fact, in late 80s, there was a bounty of about 3 million, uh, which was announced by the Iranian supreme leader, Ayatollah Khomeini, that time, on his head. And uh, later on, in 1998, uh, probably, uh, that amount of bounty was also increased from beyond $3 million. So clearly, uh, Rushdie was on, on target of radical Islamists for a very long time. In fact, this has also caused him to live in hiding for a very long time. But of late, for many years, uh, he was very much in, in public life. He was going and uh, delivering lecturer, lectures, meeting people, and he was attending social events also without any fear or any threat. So clearly, there was this threat perception which has gone down, and he was mixing with people. Uh, with a lot more comfort and relax. And uh, nobody was expecting that this could happen out of blue when uh, somebody would storm on the stage and attack him in a very lethal manner where uh, now he is very critically injured. In fact, ironic is the fact that uh, the person who is believed to be of 25 years old, the fatwa against uh, uh, Salman Rushdie was issued way uh, before the person was even born. So you, you can see the kind of brainwash this person uh, must have had over the years uh, where he is uh, uh, he becomes a machine who is going to kill the person uh, who is a literary person who is uh, known worldwide who is a celebrated author and not only uh, satanic verses he, uh, uh, even after that he has uh, gone on uh, writing very many novels he has uh, to his credit he's the only person who has got three booker prizes so it, it, it was a it is very horrible moment for the, this not only the literary world but also to the world at large where a person uh, in the midst of an event where most of the so societies, uh, you know, leaders, group leaders from uh, justice, uh, from uh, academics, they were sitting and in the middle of it, this person comes from nowhere and attacks Salman Rushdie in very fatal manner. Abhishek, we have world leaders as well who have tweeted about it. Emmanuel Macron has said more now more than ever, we stand by his side. We also have Shashi Tharoor, closer home, who has tweeted about it, saying we recognize that life can never be the same for him. Tell us about the reactions coming in from the global community. So uh, there has clearly been uh, like the world leaders have reacted in his support. So. Uh, this is uh, not just because uh, Salman, um, not because everybody has uh, liked Salman Rushdie, but also because they uh, they are taking side of a freedom of expression that if somebody wants to write on something analytically or a person who is of academic, uh, you know, uh, linking and he wants to write something. So there should be a space and a, a society where he can express himself. So this is what uh, has also led the world leaders to express solidarity uh, uh, with Salman Rushdie, uh, Shashi Tharoor, we know clearly he is uh, 
both a literary person uh, he is a politician as well uh, there has been meeting of these two uh, people also on the various uh, literary mm. events globally uh, so they mm. share a kind of bond also in in terms of uh, uh, you know coming from the same field uh, and uh, both have been very uh, active on this uh, literary world and uh, there is a is a clearly very sad moment because we still know that Salman Rushdie is on ventilator his condition is very critical uh, he is 75 years uh, so the kind of injury he has had uh, apparently he said that uh, one stab wound has been on his liver one stab wound has been on his neck so uh, the situation is still very critical and people are uh, only wishing uh, for his speedy recovery that he survives this attack and comes back uh, and could very well be again one of the same person who has written without any uh, you know hindrance and without any uh, calms on all, every issues all right stay with us abhishek we also have some breaking news coming in currently